So basically, I started making videos and started watching myself, and people started noticing I said the fuck a lot, but I didn't think much of it at first. I just thought it was fucking great. That's what I was thinking. I was like, gonna go back to that way of thought, but I'm looking back on it, kind of reminiscing about it or reflecting on it, I guess. Um, and then people even said, you don't need to say fuck so much. You say fuck a lot. You should really say fuck less. Don't say, you know. I feel like it, it, your, your point would be clearer if you didn't say fuck. And maybe they were just calming me down, quieting me down. Like They were like, you don't need to be fucking right now. Because I was going through like a life transitioning process. But now, to be my true self, I gotta say fuck a lot. It just comes out a lot of my mind, because I want to fuck. But I don't want to fuck a lot of people. I just want to fuck one person. Just a lot. In, in a bunch of different ways and places. It's totally doable, dude. I did it for so long. And then broke because the communication was broken. But when the communication is not broken, so I got to integrate fuck back into my behavior. And I was thinking about like hanging out with my friends and everyone yelling, saying fuck you, like like being like fuck you, dude. Like I don't say that much anymore. I kind of like to tone that down. Or when I do, it's like I notice I'm like, geez, generating frustration or sexuality or something by, by saying or doing that. So I don't say fuck you to people, but just the word fuck is like, I mean, it's fucking great. It's funk, funking. It's uh, fucking emphatic was what I was thinking about. That's what I said, funking. Um, so I got to get back into the whole fucking thing. But, okay, now, that being said, I can't fuck you, whoever you are, and that's the problem. I gotta be like, how do I delineate between these people and, and not overdo it and stay calm and sane? Is that probably la lack of alcohol, like no alcohol in the system, or very little alcohol in the system, like to a point where it seems like a lack of alcohol. Um, that'll help me. And maybe weed, like THC, because that makes me asexual. And the occasional mushrooms get my mind working healthy and clear again. Just mushrooms by themselves, and just like one mushroom. Like, they're little, it's like not that much, it's the body, it kind of poisons or bends or warps the body a little bit. It's kind of like... But it's a real clarifying way. It's like a purification of the mind. When it's by itself, it really, it really is. It like forces your body to think about what's happening. When the body and the mind meet... But I'm not saying to indulge, indulge in those at all. I'm saying maybe indulge in them once if you want, but be careful and drink a lot of fluids, water. Orange juice is apparently very good because it's acidic and the psilocybin is a base and alkaline. So they counteract each other and produce a more efficient high, I was going to say, but there's no high to it. It's a more efficient clarity. So it's a more refined clarity. Like once a year, maybe, I'll get a bag of mushrooms, right? I did, and like eat them bit by bit. Just like a, f a few, maybe one in the morning or something. And it's just it's like you breathe more consistent. That helped me a lot about learning about breathing and to keep breathing in and out. And then I studied oxidation. And reduction, and that's the entrance of chemicals into your body through the air, and then what happens? Well, it's really what happens with the carbon. Um, when it oxidizes, it joins with oxygen, 
two of them produces carbon dioxide and then travels out of your body. Literally, the food you eat, the carbon that you put in your body, you breathe out with attached oxygen because an electron attaches to them. And uh, that's called oxidation. And that happens all, it's always, that's the breathing, that's why breathing is important. It's not about getting the oxygen in, it's about getting the carbon out and getting that electron out so you can be calm. And um, the reason I thought of it wasn't because mushrooms made me like think of it. It was because the mushrooms made my body start breathing like that. And then I realized it. So I think that's a good combination of drugs and or alcohol in my system to produce a healthy, efficient relationship, if you want to call it, with one person that you can travel all around the world with and go to different places with and interact with and groups with. And the other stuff makes me kind of nervous. Like, I mean, I guess you could explore things with that person, but that, that stuff's like not on my mind because... It's, it doesn't, you know, I mean, they, whoa, it's like a teeter-totter, you know? I don't know if you can hear this music, but it's Dire Straits. Baby, get a fister on your little finger. Baby, get a fister on your thumb. Oh, and the whole reason I'm talking about... Um, it's actually stopped the music there. Uh, talking about it all is because I'm... I'm gonna start playing music. I mean, I'm playing a lot of music, and uh, I know I'm gonna see a lot of people in my life, and I'm, I'm not into eye contact all the time, although I've been trying it again lately, and it's great, but it's like do it with one person to do it with the next, and you just train it. You train it in any direction. The more you do it, the more you do it. The less you do it, the less you do it, and it's like, yeah, you have like breaks where you look down and stuff, but, you know, so I don't want to I mean, I could make eye contact with everyone, but that's very frustrating because it's very direct, and it's a lot of intake. And if I'm taking it in a lot, i got to release a lot, and I don't want to release it into a lot of people. The rest you know. <laughs>